With the 12th pick in the 2014 NBA Draft, the Orlando Magic select Dario Saric from Šibenik, Croatia. Big Croatian forward. Averaged nearly 17 points, 10 rebounds in the Adriatic League. He was the MVP of Eurobasket.com. I'm heartbroken, Reese. I wanted him for the Celtics at 17. I, <laughs> I loved you him. him. I fell in love with him on YouTube at about 3.30 in the morning in Southern California a month ago. A lot of people fall in love at 3 in the morning on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> or, or other places <laughs> that we won't mention. Dario Saric. Going he can't come over for two years, though. He's right. trying to deal with Turkey, so they're, they're stashing him away, basically. Yeah, he just signed a deal to play in Turkey for a couple of years, give him an opportunity to develop, so it may take a little bit more time for Orlando Magic fans to fall in love with Dario Saric the way Bill has. Saric giving Adam Silver a hug, posing for pictures, Fran Fraschilla. What do the Magic have whenever they get Dario Saric? Well, first of all, they've got a guy that's been so well known in Europe for the last five years. He was a, a real young, sensational talent. And he's grown on me because I didn't like him early in his career. He plays with great toughness. He's an outstanding passer for 6'10", and he's a terrific rebounder. He's the ultimate team guy. The one knock on him is he doesn't knock down the long ball. So as a stretch four, that will be an issue early. But the two years in Turkey will be very good for his development because he'll come over a more polished player than he already is, guys, and he'll only be 22. Now, keep in mind a key point here. The Orlando Magic must continue to recruit him because at any time in the next two years, he and his team, Ephes, can rip up the deal and sign another long-term deal. So you can bet Rob Hennigan's crew is going to recruit Dario Saric like he was a McDonald's All-American. And Orlando's probably Orlando fans getting flashbacks to the Fran, Fran Vasquez pick. <laughs> they never were able to lure him over, but I really like this pick for them. But the expectation is that with a little more seasoning that he will be lured over in season. At least with him. And there's some talk that maybe even there's some type of buyout after a year. My kind of comparison in watching him is a Boris Diaw. Not going to jump over you, not going to run past you. But at the same time, he makes players around him better. If you got Gordon running a wing, you got a backcourt that's really going to try to get up and down the court and take, play tempo, you need somebody that's going to be a ball distributor. I think he's going to be this generation's dead left shrimp. How about that? You weren't prepared for that one. I've like always eight countries. I went to Germany for the comparison. I'm always prepared countries. for Detlef Shrimp. Okay. Christian Velp, too. <laughs> so there. And so it is Dario Sarge. But what about Orlando right now as they try to reconfigure their franchise? Since they traded Dwight Howard, they have the worst record in the NBA. What about the strategy of taking a guy that you're going to have to wait on. You can't develop on your own. You have to develop him overseas. It's all about getting an identity first. So you take Oladipo last year. They have Vucevic down low, who I think is a terrific young big. And now all of a sudden you create a, an atmosphere of young players that really want to try to turn your situation around. They move Aaron to follow to try to make room for players like that. I like what Orlando is doing. Tobias Harris, Evan Fournier, Dante Exum still 18. Sarge comes over in two years. Like they're building like this little international under-22 All-Star team. It's not going to translate to wins next year. I'll tell you that much. Maybe like the Spurs, who had ten international Maybe. players on their roster. Timberwolves are on the clock, and the Timberwolves.